my name is Connie, also known as Cosmo by Connie. Today I'll be filming an Ulta slash drugstore haul, and I'm so excited to be filming this right now because this is my first YouTube video, so I figured what better way to kick it off than with a haul. So that being said, I want to address a few things in this video. So first off, the background. Um, I have yet to figure out a good background that I can film in front of, so for now just bear with me. This is my living room and that's my dining room. So yeah, that'll be my background for now. Second off, if I am staring in this direction, I'm looking at the viewfinder just to make sure that I am in focus. And then third off, if you hear little paws walking around, that's my dog Finn. So if you hear that, he'll probably come in and out of the frame too. That's my dog. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have this big Ulta bag, and so half of this I went in store and I purchased, and then the other half I ordered online, and then that I had to wait for all of that to come into the mail. I'm just going to pull things out randomly and then show it to you guys. Okay, so the first thing I got is the e.l.f. Modern Mats kit. So I actually got this um, on sale for $15, and it might be like a little late because everybody raved about all of this in this collection like a couple months ago. But it was like 30 something dollars and you know your girl is not going to spend that much on an e.l.f. product so yeah. I was excited when I saw this on sale. The next thing I got online, so I'm just going to like not pick them in any order, I'm just going to pull them out randomly from the bag. The next thing I got was the Marble Lux BH Cosmetics brush set and I might pull some out to show you guys what they look like. I just thought they were so beautiful and like... I already felt them and they're really, really soft. So let me just pull out a few for you guys. So this is most of them right here. So the handles are marble. I'm not sure if you can tell. And then the tops are just like so soft. The next thing I got was the Makeup Revolution Foundation, um, the Conceal and Define Foundation. So I just opened it today because that's what I'm wearing on my face right now. But I got this a while back and my sister, she came home to visit from college and she tried this foundation and she absolutely loved it. So I decided just to give the one that I had to her. And then so this is just like the second one that I've owned but I just repurchased that because I love the foundation. The next thing that I got also for sale was the Becca Christy Taken and Endless Summer Glow. So I know like back over the summer everyone was raving about like the Fenty body lavas but like at my Sephora, at my mall, like my Sephora is like the really small one inside of JCPenney so it's not like a full size Sephora but anyway it's always hard to get like new things there because you either have to wait forever and then by the time they come to the Sephora it's no longer new or like everything is always sold out. So like, I was excited to see this Becca Chrissy Taken body oil, and this was on sale at Ulta. I'm not even sure for how much, so I can't say that, but I'm so excited. I can't wait till it's summertime so then I can use this. I'm so excited. So the next thing I got is this MAC Shiny Pretty Things Face Trio. So let me show you what the inside looks like. So I kept everything in this bag so I haven't really used anything yet besides the Makeup Revolution foundation because I wanted to film this video. But look at how pretty this palette is. It comes with a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer. And generally I really like MAC's blushes and highlights. I haven't really tried any of their bronzers. So I'm excited to test this out for you guys. The next thing I got is this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. and. I already tried this out actually. Okay, so I got this in the shade Light Sand because um, when I used Tarte Shave Tape, that's the shade that I'm in. So I, I kind of figured it'd be similar. So yeah, I don't know. I tried it the other day and like nothing really, it wasn't too crazy, but it wasn't bad. You know what I mean? Like I would use it again, but yeah. So the doe foot looks like... Um, like the Tarte Shape Tape applicator, which I love. Yeah, so I, I am going to give this another shot because I, di I didn't mind it. So the next thing I was looking at for a while and like I finally just bit the bullet and decided to get it because every YouTuber has been raving about this palette. So this is the Born to Run by Urban Decay. And I know, like, everybody has already, like, raved about it and, like, used the palettes and everything. So I figured I might as well just get it. 
So this is what the palette looks like. The packaging is so beautiful. It comes with like a really big mirror. But here are the shades. And usually when I pick an eyeshadow palette, when I buy one, I lean more towards like the warmer tones. And this has like a good combination of both. And then it has like some matte shades, satin shades, and then it has like some pops of color. And like if you know me, my everyday look is just like warm shades and then like pretty much what I'm wearing right now. So I never really venture out with color so I thought this palette would be a good way for me to start diving in and being more creative with my makeup. So the next two things I got, they go together. So Ulta was having this thing if you buy like an Anastasia bra product, like you could buy two for $30. And I figured, you know, why not? Because I'm running low on my dip brow anyway. So I got the Anastasia brow pomade and I'm in the shade medium brown and these things last forever let me tell you because the one that I'm like running low on right now I've had it for so long and it's still there's still a lot left but I just figured I would pick up a backup and then the next thing I got is the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel so I've owned this before but the thing is when I go out or when I go somewhere and I have makeup on that day, I like to bring products that I can touch up with throughout the day, brow gel being one of them. So one day I figured, oh, let me just bring my brow gel with me, and I have no idea where it went. Like, it fell into oblivion. So I only had this brow gel for a day, so I bought it just so I could try it again and hope for the best. There's my dog right there. Okay, so the next thing I have are two Morphe brushes, and they're the same eye brush. This is the Morphe M330, and this is what it looks like. It's just like, I don't know, it's just like a blending brush pretty much. And I already have one of these, but I pretty much use this brush every single day to do my makeup. So I figured I should just get two more, that way I don't have to clean them as often, you know. Lazy life. So the last few things that I have in this Ulta bag, they're all by Essence. So I was just scrolling one night on like the new arrivals page on Ulta and I guess Essence is like dropping a lot of stuff. So the first thing I have is called the Beautiful eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like. And honestly like I love Essence products just because they're so cheap and like they're very affordable and I don't mean cheap as in like the product is gross but I mean like cheap as in the price so this these palettes were $9.99 which is like kind of pricey for essence but I mean the quality I'm sure is great so this is the first palette I got and I got another one but Ulta accidentally sent me the wrong palette and I'll show you the palette that they sent me the second palette they got was never give up your daydream and like I really wasn't interested in this palette at all like it's you can kind of see it all the colors look pretty much the same and it reminds me of like the moon pile glow kit by Anastasia like I don't know this just isn't I don't know I guess I could use this as like an inner corner highlight or like a topper for my eyeshadow but like honestly I don't see myself using this palette that much and then my one that I actually ordered I forget what it's called like follow your daydream or something like that that should be coming in the mail soon so I don't have that to show you guys but I am excited to receive that and then the last two things from essence are blushes so I have I already have like the satin I think they're called the satin touch satin matte oh goodness blushes and those are like literally one of the like best blushes from like the drugstore in general and so I, when I saw that Essence had matte touch okay so they're called satin touch okay so these are the matte touch blushes and I got this one in the shade peach me up it doesn't really look that peach maybe it's just the lighting okay can you see that I don't know it's like a mauve peach it's not like orange it's just yeah, and then this one is Berry Me Up, which which is a berry color. Yeah, okay. Good job, Connie. So, yeah, this one is more pink than the other one. The other one's just slightly more orange. So, that's the last for Essence. Okay, so my camera stopped recording, but the next thing that I got I am so excited about. 
the mailman just dropped it off so as soon as he dropped it off I was like I need to film this video right now I'm so excited and this is the physician's formula butter collection with Casey Holmes and I love Casey Holmes like anyone that knows me knows that I am obsessed with her so this is what it looks like it comes with four shadows at the bottom the bronzer is in deep the blush is in copper cabana and then the highlight is limited edition it's called just beachy and then the four shadows are called do not disturb no filter tropic like it's hot and palms palms and then it also comes with a butter lip cream and then the perfume that smells like the bronzer and I'm so excited to have gotten my hands on this because I know it was selling out so quick so I'm glad because like on Physicians Formula I was going to go on there to order it but it was already sold out right away so as soon as I saw like Trend Mood or something post on their Instagram that it was all like available in Ulta that's what got me to want to put in an order like very quickly so next I'm going to do my the rest of like the haul which is from CVS so the first thing I got, I already used and opened, are the Ardell Wispies. And these are my favorite lashes. Like, this is what I have on today. So I love these because they just look very natural and it works with any eye look. Like, the, I feel like these lashes are the closest to extensions that, like, anyone would be able to find. I mean, they are a little pricey, but you can reuse them. And then it comes with five pairs. So, I mean, these are my favorite. The next thing I got was this duo lash glue because I ran out of mine, but I hate this lash glue. Um, the one I like is blue. It comes in like a squeezy tube and then yeah, you just like squeeze it on the lashes. Like people might think this is more convenient, but this is like the one where you paint on to the, um, to the lashes and like I honestly hate this. I literally hate this. So yeah, I'll be using this until I can get my hands on my regular lash glue. The next thing I found was this Wet n Wild Pump Makeup Locker, and I have not heard anybody talk about these yet, so I'm not sure if they're good or if they're bad, and so inside here, let me open it, inside here is like the BB cream part of it, and like I, I love Wet n Wild's um, foundations, but I've never tried like a BB cream from them, and then the top, there's a, a concealer and a highlight, a cream highlight, and I don't think I will ever use the top, but I'm willing to give this a shot. And then the last three products I got are from Revlon, and I don't think I've ever really tried anything from Revlon other than like years back when they had this little like eyeshadow duo, and it was like one side was like like a liquid eyeshadow and the other side was glitter, and I feel like that's the only thing I've ever tried from them. So I saw a few people talk about this, and this is the Revlon Candid line. So I got the foundation, and this is in the color Vanilla. And then I got the concealer, and this is in the shade Light Pale. But like, the coloring looks weird because Light Pale, like the concealer, looks a little bit darker than the foundation. But I hope that's just the packaging. I don't know. But we'll give that a shot and see how it goes. And then the next thing I got was the Revlon Candid Anti-Pollution Setting Powder. And I have been on this weird kick. Like, throughout 2018, I've, like, for some reason, just, like, fell into this hole of loose powders. And I just kept buying them nonstop. Like, one of my favorite ones right now is, like, the Rimmel Stay Matte Loose Powder. And I literally use that one every day. Like, I use that one over my Laura Mercier, over the Too Faced Peachy, like... I don't know. So hopefully I like this one. So that's everything for this video. That was the end of my drugstore slash Ulta haul. And I'm so excited to be getting this video up for you guys because I've been wanting to do YouTube for a while now. If you guys want more videos like this, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.